Hi everybody. I just wanted to come on today and talk a little bit about uh, my Accomplish range. When people find out that I have this, um, and this is what we did, decided to install for our kitchen renovation, they have lots of questions about it. So uh, I thought I would talk about it a little bit, and if you have any questions, you can just uh, put them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer what I can. Um, this is the Sully model. So I'll step out of the way for a second and show you. It has two ovens at the bottom, which was something that I really wanted, and seven burners on the top. So uh, one, two, three, four, a large burner here, and then two more burners here. Um, I have the portable simmer plate just on top of those two, but I, leave, I tend to leave it here because uh, for simmering it is, these are all very high heat, so if you want to sort of diffuse the heat, this simmer plate is really good for that, and it comes standard with the oven as an accessory. Um, the other things that come standard with the oven are these reducing trivets. Um, you could just imagine that if you had a small pot that it would kind of teeter here, so these are really good for the smaller, smaller pots. Um, the other thing that comes with it is this wall crank. So it sits right on top of this just like this you can sit your walk on top this middle large burner is really high heat and I tend to use it for uh, you know big pots of soup or gumbo or cooking vegetables in a wok um, this again is the Sully model I'm not sure if I said that this is Sully model and the color is Baird Salise um, it has kind of a greenish hue to it, but really in different lights, it takes on different colors. And sometimes it reads more robin's egg blue or uh, gray even, uh, but really any in any lighting, it's a beautiful color. And um, I wouldn't change the color at all. These ranges come in lots of different colors, many, many different colors. And Lacanche will actually send you some samples uh, before purchasing if you you know want a better idea. I think anywhere from three to five samples. I can't remember for sure, but I definitely got samples and it helped sort of with the color combination um, and picking out a color and how it went with my cabinet color and so on. So that was really helpful. Um, <clears throat> the customer service is amazing. So if you have any questions beforehand, they will answer loads of questions about it. Uh, there, I think there are three showrooms in the U.S., but um, none of them are near me. So I bought this based on research and really their reputation, and um, I have not been disappointed at all. So another thing that people wonder about is the brass caps. Um, I'm just going to show you one of them. They really are beautiful, but they do tarnish and. Uh, Laconche, so I wash these with soap and water, and Laconche really sort of discourages you from polishing them too much. I've only cleaned these with vinegar one time, um, and I've had my range now for a little over a year. We did our kitchen renovation last year and finished it right before Christmas. So I've been using it for a little over a year now, and zero regrets. I love it. Um, the other thing that I'll say about the cooktop is that I went ahead and purchased this griddle. This does not come standard, but loads of accessories that you can purchase to go with the Lacan range. So this is a griddle. This is the griddle. It just kind of sits right on top. Um, you use this for pancakes. You can do eggs, bacon, whatever you want, but it's super easy because it just, you kind of wipe down all the crumbs in that bottom tray right there and it wipes down pretty easily. Uh, I would just say though this is really heavy and if you're not going to keep it on top of your stove you do have to find a place to store it so that's just one thing about it but um, we do use ours quite frequently for pancakes. Um, this range, this double oven range, 
is a little less than 60 inches. Most double oven ranges in the US, I think are about 60 inches, but the hood that I have above here, the, um, this is a Thermador 60 inch hood. So I'll just try to show you a little bit. You can kind of see, if you can kind of see the, that there's a little difference in the width there, but not much. I think that the Sully, I don't remember the exact measurements, but I think it's about 54 to 56 inches wide. So something along that lines. It's a European, obviously a European measurement. So it's not gonna be an exact um, inch measurement. Um, okay, I'm gonna just show you, I wanna bring you a little closer because I'm gonna show you some of the knobs and hardware. I got the standard hardware. So it comes standard with brass knobs, this stainless steel bar, and then these brass fixtures here. These are all unlacquered, so they will tarnish over time. Um, I've never polished these and, and think that they still look beautiful. So that's really up to you, but uh, I like it like this. You can polish it. They do give recommendations on what products to use for that. Um, I'm gonna bring you down a little closer so that you can see the actual knobs and kind of what they look like. So here are the knobs, uh, oven and then burners. You can see for the burner set, there's like a tiny little picture below each one so you know which one you're turning on. And it's really just a push and then you can hear it up there and then it's on and then you can adjust the heat like so. So pretty easy to use. Um, the oven knob is here. Um, this, this range doesn't come with any kind of fancy digital anything. There's no motherboard or anything like that. So there's no timed preheat setting or anything like that. Basically, when you preheat the oven, you, you put it on the temperature that you want and these two lights come on. When the top light goes off, that means the oven is preheated to the temperature that you selected and you know that the oven's ready. And depending on what temperature you preheat your oven to is obviously will depend on, you know, how long it takes. I'd say anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. This is the convection um, switch. So I opted for a gas cooktop and two electric convection ovens. You can get it without convection if you don't think you're gonna use it, but I occasionally use convection, so I opted for it. And it's just a little switch to switch from one to the other. Regular oven, convection oven, super easy. Um, I will say that if you do get the convection oven, the fan in the back takes up a small amount of space in the compartment, the oven compartment itself. So it's just something to be aware of. I haven't had any problems whatsoever with the amount of space inside the oven. And I'm about to show you that because that was one of the questions that I had whenever I was looking at this oven. You know, will I have enough space? U.S. ovens tend to be a lot bigger than European. Um, so let me just... Scoot you back a little bit and we'll take a look at this inside the oven. So here's inside the oven. It comes with two racks. It also has a, you can put the rack on this top. You can change it to this top um, level too. Here's the fan in the back. Um, it sticks out probably, I don't know, about that much from the back. So not a terrible amount of space. Um, the oven actually comes with a pastry sheet which looks like this. And this just sits right on top, just like that. And you can bake directly on this. Um, I actually still use, I'll take this out just so I can show you, that I do use a half sheet baking pan a lot, which is this. and I. I don't know the exact measurement, maybe 10 by 13, if that's right. Um, somebody will probably correct me if I'm wrong, but um, maybe it's a little bit bigger, I'm not sure. But anyway, 
This is a half sheet baking pan and it fits. You can see how it fits just fine and there are no problems at all. There's some, actually some room to spare. So I use those a lot. No problems fitting it. Um, another thing it comes with is this, this comes standard with it, drip tray and roasting rack or broiling rack, I guess is what they call it. So this drip tray you can put, you know, underneath to catch any drips or from top or um, they, there's this broiling rack that comes with it. And I, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that this comes with the electric ovens for broiling. Um, those are all things that you can clarify if you decide to purchase. To put, to do uh, roasting and bigger things in here, I take this one rack out and then I can fit a pretty large Dutch oven. This Dutch oven is a little over seven liters, so it's pretty large and, uh, you know, I can fit a pot roast or something in here, no problem. Um, I do also have this really large roasting pan from Williams Cinema. It's pretty huge and it fits in there no problem. We've done a 20 pound turkey in here. We've done, we've roasted other cuts, of, you know, large cuts of meats and haven't had any problems at all. So I just wanted to show you that, you know, a lot of people have a question about the size of the oven and what you can fit in it. Um, well, that's about the oven. Um, you know, it comes with a booklet to show you how to take care of it and how to clean it and all those things. And um, I haven't had any problems. They do have these drawers at the bottom where you can, this is where I usually keep the, this is where I usually keep the, uh, the drip tray and broiler and then also the uh, broiler rack and then also this pastry sheet. I just keep them down here until I need them. Um, I have read that some people make granola or something in here. I don't know. I, I haven't ever done anything except use it for storage. So, but again, this is a Sully model. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to share my experiences and, um, you know, let you know if there's anything uh, I can answer. Just put them in the comments below and I'll try to answer the best I can. All right, that's it. I'll see you guys later.